What's up, everybody? It's the big dog named Austin, and the Pacers are back in the playoffs. Let's go! Pacers back in the playoffs for the first time since the 2019-2020 season and something crazy happened in March of 2020 to halt NBA play altogether. I don't know if you guys remember what happened in March of 2020. It was kind of a big deal. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. The Pacers played in the bubble. They went 6-2 and two in that bubble, led by TJ Warren, who at the time was a walking bucket. Not sure where that guy is right now. The Pacers were six and two in that bubble, in the whatever that was. With 45 and 28, good enough for fourth in the Eastern Conference, but they got swept by the Miami Heat in round one. That was the last time the Pacers have been in the playoffs. This is a brand new team. The last time the Indiana Pacers played a home playoff game was in 2018, 2019, when they were swept by the Boston Celtics. The last time the Pacers won a playoff game was against the Cleveland Cavaliers in game six of the first round in 2018. The 2017-2018 season, this game was played on Friday, April 27th of 2018. And that's the last time the Indiana Pacers have won a home playoff game. And now they have made the playoffs for the first time, like I said, since 2020. A very big deal. It's 2024, baby. We're finally in the playoffs. We had a win and get in game today against the Atlanta Hawks. We demolished them. Three of our highest scoring games this year have been against the Atlanta Hawks. Absolutely demolished them. Now we go into the playoffs. Down Benedict Matherin. He's been out for a good while. But TJ McConnell has stepped up in his place and played great. The trade for Pascal Siakam which I did address on this channel, and I don't think I've done anything since. But that trade was big for this Pacers team. I think it made them into a playoff team. They're 47 and 35, good enough for six in the East. They played the Milwaukee Bucks, who may be down their main guy in Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, I know they've got still got Chris Middleton and Damian Lillard, this team isn't going to go away. They're the three seed for a reason. But being down, Giannis, is massive. I really think the Pacers have a really good chance in this series to win. Of course, Tyrese Halliburton, he went through his slump in March. He had one of his worst months of his career in the month of March. He seems to be kind of getting out of it. He seems to be on the up and up. He finished the season averaging 20.3 points per game, 10.9 assists, um, made the All-Star. We'll wait and see if he makes All-NBA, one of the three teams. Miles Turner, 16.9 points per game with 6.9 rebounds per game this season. Both those guys have been awesome. Pascal Siakam, like I said early, he, earlier, he has been huge for these Indiana Pacers game. Running through the standings real quick, the Boston Celtics far and away first in the East, 64-18. Then you've got the New York Knicks, 14 games worse than that in second place at 50 and 32. Then Milwaukee at 49 and 33. It gets pretty, pretty jumbled here. Cleveland, 48 and 34. Orlando, 47 and 35. Indiana, 47 and 35. Philly, 47 and 35. Miami, 46 and 36. Uh, excuse me. Chicago, 39 and 43. And Atlanta, 36 and 46. Philly, Miami, Chicago, Atlanta are the teams that will play in the bubble tournament, bubble games. No, not the bubble games. The play-in games, the play-in tournament to see who gets the final two seeds. I like the play-in tournament. It's a lot of fun. I'm glad the Pacers aren't in it. They had to win this game against the Atlanta Hawks or the one against Cleveland in order to avoid the play-in, and they did that. Now, officially in the playoffs, you have a little less than a week to prepare. You either start on Saturday we start on Sunday. We'll see what happens when the league comes out with the schedule. But that's it, man. The Pacers are back in the playoffs. 
I'll be doing videos. I'll be doing videos before every playoff game because I've, it's so hard to watch the games. But hopefully these games will be nationally televised so I can actually watch them and, and break them down how I want to. That'd be great. Plus, they're playoff basketball. What's better than playoff basketball? Basketball season, to me, starts in March. Okay? I know there are other basketball fans that are like, it starts a lot earlier. I know. I know. Okay? Football season runs from September to February. Okay, sometime in February, I start watching basketball. I start getting into it. high school basketball, college basketball, NBA. And then it obviously kind of ends around June because that's when the NBA ends. And then I'm just hibernating until August, September when football comes back around. Because I don't care about baseball. I think I feel like I've said that plenty of times on here. But that's all I've got. The Indiana Pacers are back in the playoffs. Let's see what they can do. Let's see if they can win round one. That's all I got. I'm a big dog named Austin. Go Pacers.